Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Uh, thank you so much for the love and support. Um, being able to share my videos, y'all dropping comments and let me know that you are totally resonating with them is truly a blessing. And it good, it's really good to feel that you're not alone going through those crazy situations. So with that being said, love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, I would love a chance for you to get to know me as much as I need to get to know you. So if you can drop a couple of lines, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up to me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is just giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation that I'm listening to in the background is called Heal Your, Heal Your Aura. The Theta Waves Wipe Out Negative Energy Boost Positive Energy Binarial Beats. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101 Heokas. The ones that are happy and jokesters are the ones that experience the most pain. If that ain't the truth, I don't know what it is. Because it's just like... You know, I can be that one that even though you can put something silly down, like if my friend, she posts a lot of positive stuff. And it's just like I would get these these gifts or memes or whatever you want to call them and just start doing something really stupid. And she's like, Rosalyn, you just have a crazy sense of humor. That is because it's just the fact a lot of us like to be joke, joking around and a lot because you have been through so many different issues where you know what it feels like to be hurt you know what it feels like to be down you know and, and depression and stuff like that so you tend to make jokes uh, you know to make people feel better and it's just like i do that all the time like if i know um, one of my love bugs that i'm talking to i might be talking to him on the phone or doing a video chat i do something really stupid you know and they're like rosalind there you go again but it'll just totally distract them from whatever they were going through at that time because I was like, oh no, I feel that energy and we got to change that right now. And it's a good thing to be that person that, you know, with us being hell because we are jokesters, we're tricksters. We have our own humor on how to be able to look at things in a different perspective. And it's truly a blessing because it just seems like, God dog, you already go through enough stuff, go through hell and, hell and high water back and forth, back and forth. We got frequent fire miles. I have your own passport to go there. <laughs> so it, it's just like feels good for you to be able to uplift somebody. Being able to see things and be, you know, and I always try to tell people, you know, when we're going through tragedy or we're going through hardship. And I said, well, did you look at it this way? And they're like, you know what? No, Rosalind, I didn't. But thank you. You know, when it's a beautiful thing, when you can be able to put a smile on somebody's face and being able to cheer them up because who wants to be sad and depressed all the time? You know, there's somebody, that, well, let me not say that because there's people that they are comfortable being there me uh-uh mm -mm. i mean when i'm there i'm like you know i really don't want to be like this right now i try to find things that you know uplift my frequency make sure i have you know welcoming vibes oh, excuse me y'all been eating these clementines and i'm so i'm trying not to eat them now but these things are so good but going through all those different changes um uh, can really do uh, a number on your body and I remember my mom used to tell me that that when you go through stuff it'll make you even feel like you're about to have a stroke it'll bring your immune system down and she was not lying because that really can make you like depressed lethargic or whatever you want to call it and all those things when you really don't need to be there you know it's just like you know we might be complaining or you know down and out about a certain situation we're trying to get our you know out of and it's like you know, when I tell people, or when they're telling me, Rosalind, I'm trying to, you know, do this and this and that, but I can't get out of this situation, I said, well, I, obviously that must be your, your karmic cycle because there's something that you need to learn from within. 
and be able to heal and be able to let go out of this certain situation. Just like my situation, I can look at it and I'm say, you know, I said, you know, when I got out my feelings, because I, I just got tired of dealing with it or whatever, and it's just like, you know, you get tired, you, you, you know, certain situations that you can be placed in or you place yourself in and they're just not allowing you to get up out of it can really put you through emotional, mental, physical drain where you're just tired of dealing with it. And it's just like, you know, yeah, you're getting tired of dealing with it, but are you doing the exact things you need to do to get out of your situation? Are you letting things go? Are you still holding on to painful situations, tra traumatic uh, cycles? Are you are you holding on to these negative things? Are you pushing out, you know, positive thoughts? Are you thinking about positive things? Because it's just like, you know, what we talk about, we have to be very careful what we talk about. You know, um, very careful on the way we think about certain things, how we tend to look at them. You know, and it's hard at times. It really is hard at times for you to do that. But it's like we're in a situ certain situations for a reason. And it's like, you know, like I, I was saying in my other video, you know, even though you feel like the world is against you, it's like they put you in certain situations for you to learn educate yourself to be able to let go because you know you want to be able to move on to something but if you still have that same mentality that you did in that old situation it's going to bring on new problems you don't need that in your life you know you, you need to be able to be you know grateful for the situations you put in and it's like sometimes it's hard to say that because you're like Rosalind speak for yourself and I said well you know hey it is how it is you know you got to see it for what it's worth you know a lot of times we get stuck in situations to teach us, educate us in a lot of things. It's just like I was telling a friend of mine today, you know, yeah, I went through a lot of tragedies with my family, but I'm glad I went through those. You know, being able to experience all that hurt and pain and abuse when it was physical, emotional, mental, you know, spiritual, you know, um, it allowed me to be able to see who Rosalind really was. What is Rosalind really capable of doing? What is Rosalind really capable of achieving? You know, being able to know your family has done all these type of things for you, to you, that that situation can be really hard to part ways with, especially when you know your family went out their way to do something like that. And it's like, yeah, it's tragic, but look at all the people I'm helping from this situation. Look at how much I've educated myself on different spiritual forces, um, so many different levels of spirituality, um, the quantum physics, you know, the divine consciousness, all these different things that I'm educating and open myself up to be an open-minded person. Because it's just like, well, I, I think about it, I'm just like, dang, you have learned so much. You, you know, you're opening your heart out to people that you don't even know to let them know about the situations you've been placed in and allowing yourself to heal as you're, you know, you're making videos and you're helping them heal along the way as well. So that's truly a blessing to me, you know, even though there's times I, I might cry because I've been through certain things, who wouldn't, you know, but then, then I can see myself when I hear my mom or, you know, my spirit guides telling me, Rosalind, we're so proud of you. And yeah, you're learning, you know, cause I could be talking to myself towards some certain things and it's like, you know what, you're learning, you're educating yourself. Now you're seeing why you had to be put in place in the situation. You know, when the floodgates open, you know, it's like you got to bust a levy of <laughs> love and spirituality and positivity, you know, and who wouldn't want that in their life, but being able to experience these things and it takes time to heal. It's, it was a day to day process. I'm still healing, but knowing that I can bring joy and love to somebody's life, being able to crack them up laughing. You're like, Rosalind, I can't believe you said that. I'm like, well, believe it. I said it, you know, um, being able to do that feels good. You know, when you can bring that joy to somebody's life that is really going through some hectic things, you know, when they second guess themselves and try to say, Rosalind, I don't know if I can deal with this. And I'm just like, you know what, you, you have to think about it like this. You have been through a lot of things before and felt like you were never going to get through it. You were never going to mend. You were never going to heal. And if you think back at the situation now that you were in like months and months ago or years ago, and you're like, well, dang, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, so a lot of times we've been pressed up in things. And if, if this is the most hardest thing you have ever done, you know, or ever experienced, you know, when other things come popping off in your life, you can think about that situation you just overcome. 
and just know, yeah, this might be a bump in the road, but guess what? I'm going to get over it just like I got over the last thing. Being able to bring joy and happiness towards the world is what we truly need right now. You know, there's so much hate in the world where you're constantly hearing about people just annihilating people left and right, um, killing people just because you have a badge to do it. Um, just so many different things that's going on in the world where, you know, I try to shut myself off from it because I get tired of hearing it. If it's not people killing each other for the color of their skin, it's like people killing animals, hurting their children. I'm just like, ah, what, what's going on in the world today? You know, we need more love in the world, you know, more positive things. It's just, I wish we had our own empath planet. <laughs> we can constantly like you can go ahead and stay here we're gonna make our little we're gonna make our home here it'll be so peaceful it might be boring because everybody is good but i'd rather have that happen than all this crazy stuff we got to deal with right now but being able to overcome tragic situations you know it, it can you'll be amazed what kind of impact it can make on your life as well as others you know and that's the true blessing out of it for me being able to see my situation and being able to help people heal through traumatic situations that they have been placed in, I love. I truly do. Um, I love it when y'all tell me, Rosalind, there's so many things I've been through. I never thought I would be able to go through it, but watching your videos has really, truly helped me. Or, you know, I, I, I get some emails to let me know, you know, Rosalind, I was about to commit suicide until I was able to see the videos that you placed and I gotta pause this for the cause I'm sorry y'all my phone rang it yeah I'm sorry about that my phone rang but yeah going through all those different things is truly a blessing even though the situation that you might be placed in can make you fall apart you know um, I feel like it's a blessing when you know you can heal and you can help others find that way of healing to, to get towards that light at the end of the tunnel being able to do that has truly been a blessing for me because it's like you know when I can sit up here and say yeah I've been through this but I don't wish anything hard I don't, I don't f force no ill will on nobody because I always feel like you know obviously for people to put certain situations you in certain situations in a negative or hurtful traumatic way obviously they're damaged as well for them to be doing that because nobody normal does stuff like that but oh, excuse me but being able to overcome those things you know it, it takes time you're supposed to give yourself a day by day process to allow yourself to know that you know whatever this situation is trying to teach me allow myself to be able to learn what it's trying to teach me so I can be able to move on to the next chapter that I truly deserve because we all need to be happy so I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video um, like and subscribe even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video share give me a thumbs up and give me your input I would love to know um, how you feel about this video and I would like to give a shout out to Diamond King Passive Restraint Productions and Stacy Folly so much love to you y'all have a blessed safe weekend be responsible for everything you do and I'll see you in my next video much love peace be wild